I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. Politics suck. I just want to go home and have a falafel. Oh god. I don't know how this is going to end. The fuck is this hell? This now marks the but fact that we have roughly we? three hours know, until we, we win not hang around. or beat it. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Yes, the centurion that pierced the sight of Christ with his lance. That weapon naturally became a holy relic. Exactly. Seriously, you don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. I at least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? I want to know, Mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the Al-Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons, or we are all doomed, don't you see? Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, there must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is, I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing will stop you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lance, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaget. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. I just wanted to find you. Why the fuck did I have to get roped into this? 
This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. Where art thou, holy lance of a demon slaying? Okay, nope, not here. I honestly have no idea what the hell is going on. I still, like, half believe that demons exist now. Why couldn't it just be humans in politics? Why is there demons now, too? What if my mother's just crazy? I mean, I, I don't th I don't think so, but what if she is? What if on the off chance she is? Give me that, I need that. No? Oh, it's Devil Thorn. Oh boy. Ah, shit, dead end. This one's supposed to be shorter than the last one. Oh, actually, no, it's supposed to be the same exact length. Oh, oi! The hell is that? We can see that this lance has a leaf shape, and, well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. There are several spearheads. I need to find clues to pick the right one. Piaggi knows something about it for sure. Man, fine. Fine, let's go find Piaggi. Okay, we need information. We can't get the wrong one. If demons are real and this is the only way to fight it, I need the right one. And by the way, this is really fucking huge. How the fuck was this built here what the, what the hell was that okay i guess i'm not gonna be able to take anything here oh so, i mean he might be in his room Okay, let's hope that me uh, breaking my word to him by swearing on God earlier and then not following through won't negatively impact me asking for information. Okay, he should be in his room. Either way, if he's not, I can just walk downstairs. <clears throat> okay, we've made it. Please be in here. The Cardinal's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. So this works for me. Thank you, thank you. I like all of these. Hey, I saw that. Colonel Lightwater will give me a little reprieve. Hell yeah, I found another one. <clears throat> My dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me from joining you. Please thank Sir Gregory for his invitation to Lord Mortimer's. I'm convinced you'll be able to strengthen our agreements. Please tell Sir Gregory that his enterprise concerning our friend, Cardinal Bishop Chiaramonti, is following its course. I place my trust in you. May God bless you and give you protection. 
Oh, okay. We've got information. Love Triumphant by Caravaggio. Now there's someone for whom the sex of angels is no mystery. The lying girl by Boucher. Here's a painting of mischievous eroticism. I wonder what Piaggio must think of this. John the Baptist, Youth with a Ram by Caravaggio. A very sensual vision and very far from the usual representations of St. John. What is this? Let's have a look at his personal papers. Of course, it's in Latin, the language of the church. All those hours of learning Latin declensions are gonna pay off in the end. Mother will be proud. Now this could be interesting. Lensea Sancte, various representation criteria, of which are shown the most common throughout the centuries, and in different forms. If Piaggi's notes are anything to go by, the weapon I'm looking for is shaped like a tapered spear. Well, that should help me identify it. Shaped like a tapered spear. Okay. Can you let me out! <laughs> now let's go find him so we can get more information. Uh, I bet he went back to stuffing himself. He went back to stuffing himself and he has to be in the food. Ha ha ha! Where we all met for a nice friendly chat. Which would be... I'm here. Staircase down there. This way. Noise. And then I take a left. And now we're here, or we should be. There you are. Oi, Biagi. Your eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? I want to be alone. Very well. I, I'm only searching for information about the lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could... Are not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to Mr. Von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the holy lands of Longinus, are you? No, no, I I was wondering about it myself. Oh, Louis. It's even worse than I thought. I believe you when you say you've only come to find out more. But in that case, uh, it means that Sarah didn't even tell you the point of it all. Because, believe me, you are looking for it. You are looking for the lands. You should know you are not the only one. Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me. Before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? No, no, Your Eminence. I thought you'd be the only one able to help me with it. Your words lack conviction, Louis. If I'm asking you all these 
things. It's for your own good. No. You have no reason to lie to me. Imagine you find it, which I don't doubt, given how resolute you are when you've got something on your mind. Then what? What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? I need it. Why? You won't understand. <sighs> Try me, Louis. I need to protect myself with it. Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. I shall answer you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spearheaded lance did indeed pierce the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions, or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. I don't know if I trust you. I don't know if I trust my mom. Holy shit. Oh my God, so much information. Okay, we gotta look for the spear. In paintings. Probably not gonna be in here. Excuse me. Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. The only places I can think is the gallery, the portrait gallery. Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Where art thou? Information in which I seek. I want to go in there. Can I not go back in here? If I can't, then that means I shouldn't need to go in here. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Can't. Don't need it. Okay, so I can't go back in here. So it's not in here. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by their ear. Hmm. Hmm. Where oh oh Where oh where could it be? Where, where does this lead? Oh, it leads here. Well, look at that. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. So it can't be here. What is that? Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Just 
Mysterious notes. Mysterious notes. Mysterious notes. Mysterious notes. No? Okay. What was that? Hello, Washington. Give me Good information. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. I'm back on the trail of my mother again. I don't have time to explain, but would you know anything about the Holy Lance? I... Ah, uh, that's good news. But be careful, Louis. You might end up getting noticed. Do you know anything or not? No, I regret I don't. But why not ask von Wallner? Theology is his field, after all. That's an idea. In that case, I'll try and find him. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. You're right. Thanks for everything, Mr. President. See you later. Where are you? Ooh! The blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Okay, definitely going upstairs. We cleared the first floor. Nothing down here do we need. Von Wunder, where are you? Boy, what are you? A Chinese coin. What do we even use those coins for? Are they just collectibles? Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Uh, Bonaparte. Uh, I can hear you in there, bro. I hear you brushing. I hear it. Wait a minute. You're brushing there. Does that mean I can get in? I can. Well, would you look at that? Nice decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. A pattern with four circles. Peru. I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These I have no space yeah, that, left. All that doesn't matter. Later. What is it though? Dear Monsieur, no, I have no, no not space that. left. I'll retrieve it later. Oh, camelite water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh man, got to sneeze. Bless me. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Great, honey. Yes! God, we're so close to being full on this. You know how long it's been? Dear friend. I don't actually need your backstory shit. Doesn't help me. Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Mm. Looks like we got some more dirt. Okay, back this way. Out here. The Emily's room. Alas, I have returned. Letter from William Pitt the Younger, addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam. Oh, Jesus, why did that click? Nope. 
What is this? Grammar of Pohayal. Ah, the artistry of the French language in all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least, une partie of it. Well, we got what we could from here. Now to find his room. There it is. Wait. Yeah, it's faster this way. Okay, Von Wilmer. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Somebody had to put that down. Because it definitely wasn't there the first time. I'm glad it gives me the time to save up all this, but it's going to be gone in this episode, I, I bet. Right here. One more. It seems like he isn't here. Where the fuck is it? would he be? Where is everybody when I need them? I've already explored. I've already explored your room, bro. Wait. A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from von Wolner. I didn't see that here last time. So let's see what Volner has in his bookcase. Not surprising. Most of these works are in German. And one in Latin. Longini Militis Fabulum. Ah, what have we here? It looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly, Volner has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Mm, I'd better keep this one, though. Oh! Dirty shit. Damn, that's all I need. Maybe he knows something about the lands. What are you doing in my room? Well, sir, I see you have some captivating books, and you seem to be rather interested in the famous Longinus. No, I have. It's, uh, what's it to do with you? I overheard you speaking with Piaggi. What are you two up to, exactly? No, I... Oh, fine. Yes. We are looking for the holy lots. That imbecile has given Mortimer all the ones kept in the private collection of the Holy See. But it, it's not what you think. I... Hang on a minute. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I... take me for a fool. You are looking for the Holy Lances. I'm not looking for the lances of Longinus von Volner. I'm looking for the lance of Longinus. The one that pierced Christ's side. You are playing with fire. Don't take it the wrong way. I'll leave you all the copies. Don't worry about that. Good answer. What are you playing at, Richet? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah, I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. You're looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? But calm yourself, goddammit. You're the one I'm trying to help. What? What? I heard you talking with his eminence, and it seemed to me that this story about the lances had put you in a tight spot. I was only trying to be helpful. But why didn't you tell me straight away? Seeing as I hadn't found it, I, I didn't want to commit myself too quickly. If I failed, I, I would look like a beginner. Uh, I understand. I thought you were trying to manipulate me. But please, uh, excuse me. I got a little <laughs> bit uh, carried away. But you can't get ahead by staying in the shadows on a case like this. There are already several of us searching for the Lance of Longinus. And it would be smarter to pool our information. Unfortunately, I've barely made any progress. I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, oh, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. It also took us quite some time to discover its true shape. Many believe the central part of the head of the Lance to be covered in gold, whereas, in truth, its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. That does make sense. 
In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, that is the perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side of Christ. Anyway, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. But keep me posted as to your research. We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. See you later. <laughs> I managed to get the biography of Longinus the Centurion. Let's see what it can teach me. Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. Wait. No, let's go up. We got the artistic... Okay, so specialist, we got that. I think we found this, the sacred text, which is the bi uh, biography one we found, right? There's only one more room that I want to go to. Double check. That's upstairs. Did I go the wrong way? Shit, I did. Damn it! I didn't see the picture. I mean, I might be able to guess now, but... I'd rather go to this last place to make sure I can see a picture. Or a uh, painting. Just to be sure. I wish I would have, like, scratched it out, the ones I completed. St. Longinus. Let's take a closer look at his lance. It is shaped like a leaf, but like the real lance, maybe. How can I be sure? No, this is too easy. Mortimer's trying to throw me off the track again. It seems too visible to be true. Impossible not to see the statue on first glance, given its size. And Mortimer has no interest in making the shape of the true lance so easy to see. I guess that's it. I guess it's time to put together our clues and... Hopefully we find the right one. But first... Okay, we can't look at that. Okay, I guess this is it, guys. Yeesh, I hope I get the right lance. Oh, I thought that was something I could pick up there. I have to rely on luck and the information I've gathered so far. Hmm. 
take a little gander at that spear we found over here. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape, and, well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. That's not it. Or is this boar shape? The statue of longest shows it's in a shape of a leaf, but I don't believe the statue. It's copper rim. There's no fish on it either. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. I must be sure of my choice though. I I can't pick the wrong one. Am I really sure this is the one to take? No. I want to see it's boar shaped. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the eye of Ra engraved on the tip. No. I can see this lance has a spear shape, it is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. I can see this lance has a spear shape, it is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. So this is possibly it. This one is possibly it. But it didn't say it was boar. This lance has a leaf shape. It no. is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved Wait, on the tip. Wait, but there's blood on it. It shows there's blood on it though. I shouldn't trust Piagi's word though. It sounded like he was being possessed, in my opinion. This lance, it's got a spear shape, and the blade is partly made of copper. A barely visible crucifix is engraved on the blade. Not that. I don't know if I should be trusting Yaji because it seemed like he was under control. It seemed like he was under control and he threw me off, but the statue could also be throwing me off. I don't know. I don't know what to choose. I'm gonna go check the other side. Well, what's the... Oh, okay, I can't go down here.
hope I ran here and there's like no spears over here. There's no spears over here, is there? Ah, there is! I can see that this spear has a, a so-called leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the Eye of Ra. Nope. So it is one of the ones, one of the two that I found over there. Spear shaped. Obviously, the statue's lying, and Piaggi's lying, so it can't be shape of a leaf or boar spear, which would have to mean, since we've already examined them all, the only thing left is just regular spear shape. And since Piaggi said there was blood on it as well, there wouldn't be blood on it. that one I can see this lance has a spear shape it is copper rimmed and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip okay this is the one I'm going with I'm taking it I must be sure of my choice I cannot get it wrong Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? No, I'm like 90, 90, 10%. Man, I, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure I'm right. <clears throat> I hope I don't have to rely on it to fight a demon or something. Because if so, and I chose the wrong one, I'm dead. Dunzo. Can I take multiple? Can I just take them all? Stab them with all the spears? I'm so nervous. I don't want to get it wrong. It's so hard to tell too when like everybody could be lying to you. You have to deduce. Join your mother at the wharf. The wharf is the boat to leave, right? I wonder if my mother's gonna live. I don't care. I'll, I'll figure it out. took a leap of faith <laughs> you're not wrong I'm already pressed for time as it is mother's waiting for me on the wharf what book are we doing now what does look at that questioning oh we got another one in questioning right there look at that to the wharf whoops wrong way I don't actually know how to get there. Alright, I just go here, then go to the front, and then exit. Yeah. Berichet, oh. sticking your nose everywhere again. Wow, what's the matter with him? 
Excuse me, monsieur. I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why? What are you talking about? I am talking about what you are doing. This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised Piaget and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to cut this short quick. Bid you a good day! Sorry, I kind of liked you, Napoleon. Hi, um, this way? I'm here. Yes, okay. Sorry, Napoleon. I actually did like you. We got along, kind of. I mean, I didn't really love you or anything like that. But, I mean, we got along. You weren't a dick to me. <laughs> the only way I could <laughs> think about getting away, though. I thought I saw somebody over there. That creeped the shit out of me, man. Oh, wait, wait, what's that? Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I go outside now. Uh-oh. Ah, Louis. Perfect timing. As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Guess I have to. Go closer, please. No! It's time we had a little chat. What's... What's wrong, my lord? Um, uh, tell me, what's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see you running all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. I would like to prevent her from leading you even further down the wrong road. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will. And I would like for you to have the same chance. You see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. I am aware of her theory. About me? About Gregory? About the demons? So you're gonna tell me she's wrong, and that she's a liar? She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. For the last 602 years, I have been this dear William Mortimer. But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's... that's right. I'm coming to that, don't worry. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago. Kind of shocked to that he told me. All the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. This guy's gonna say he's my daddy. Years together, until I revealed the old my book true was nature Eve, to her. Wasn't it? Did she speak about it? Not so long ago, yes. Indeed. Like it was I can already cut in. Al-Azif. She wanted to unlock the secrets. How would you qualify your species scientifically? Hmm. Good question. What is your area of expertise? My lord, to tell you the truth, I don't see myself as a scientist. Well, consider us as a simple species still unknown to most of men. Thus, we are born. 
We have the capacity to change bodies, that is all. What are the demon's projects for humanity? Our aim has long since been to protect humanity from itself. On the other hand, although we give them the impulse to succeed, we don't all agree as to the path they take to achieve it. Lucifer, the fallen archangel, left heaven accompanied by 133,306,668 angels. Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. Forget your Bible class, it's ridiculous. We are not angels, we don't have wings. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. There are several families, and the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Sir Gregory is your brother? Yes, what can I say? <laughs> You can't choose your family, but it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. You've been Mortimer for 600 years? How long have the demons been among mankind? Oh, I don't think I'd be lying if I said that we have always been here. If I follow you, you must have witnessed some of the greatest moments in history. <laughs> you could certainly say that, yes. You seem to be fascinated by Christ. He... You weren't him, were you? <laughs> oh, no, no. No, not at all. He was my father, though. Strange as it seems. I beg your pardon? Am I dreaming? Oh, please tell me I'm dreaming. We should have the chance to talk about all that again later, but yes, yes, he was my father. All the mythology surrounding Jesus of Nazareth really stems from my father's prideful need to show himself among men. And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. That's right. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? Supernatural? From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We are all part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. Of course you do. And you expect me to believe that, I suppose. Louis, demon is just a word. It all depends on what exists beneath the surface. I understand that this isn't easy. The culture of men is centered on the fact that demons are responsible for all the evils on Earth. But if it's the same in every single culture, then maybe there might be something to it, don't you think? Certainly there is something to it. Control. Man has spent his existence wishing to believe in the supernatural and imposing his belief on others. What could be more convenient for manipulating the masses? A perfect, inaccessible being and a plethora of demons in every one. The perfect idea to relieve men of all responsibility while still finding them guilty. Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. If you could manipulate us mentally, what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many centuries, we didn't organize any conferences, and most of the time, it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed 
during this period. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wants to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days of reflection, during which we are allowed to be persuasive, but not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, for you it's a game, isn't it? I understand your remark, but after living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us, in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, Sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though? No, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and went along with the intention of helping her. But this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. You're the one who killed her. The poor girl was condemned, Louis. Don't you think it better that she stopped living like a slave? being mentally raped by my father since the day she was born. Maybe you're right. So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Come, I have something to show you. There... there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? My lord, I don't know if I can answer in all honesty. Please do, Louis. You can say anything to me, believe me. You must admit, being surrounded by all these servants isn't doing much to relax me. Oh, forget the servants. They're only here to ensure my safety. Why? What are you afraid of? Well, I wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea, Louis. But you have spent your entire life fighting the occult. You have just stolen the Holy Lance from me, and I do happen to be a demon. Do you not realize the power that relic has on a demon? Well, that's true. Sarah must have told you, didn't she? Surprises me that you've wasted all this time looking for the lance instead of fleeing. You know I know, don't you? Let's say I think you know enough to doubt that you could be persuaded to leave without a reason. Am I right? The lance is supposed to kill demons, right? And indeed it can. At least some of them. That's why I've chosen to protect myself. You never know. Just imagine if Sarah wanted to get rid of me through you. Because that's exactly what she wants to do, isn't it, Louis? Indeed it is. Of course. Except that she hasn't told you everything, Louis. That's why this discussion is so essential. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are I knew a demon. It. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am Visions. telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural, charismatic presence comes from? 
Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body, without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I... to you. I... What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know. Sarah is not your mother. I... What? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Liar! Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns! Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid! Ah, uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him! You don't know the whole story. You ought to let me help you. One more move and I'll shoot you down, you bastard. Jack, you'll end up hurting yourself if you continue like this. There's no one to save here anyway. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? And you, Jack, how does it make you feel? It changes everything. Well, why? How am I responsible for it? I never said you were. You two are his victim, Louis. But it makes no difference to me. If I let you go, you will proliferate. I must stop all of you. And too bad for me if I have to die for it. You should never have come here. You're just like him. And you all deserve to die. No! <laughs> Louis, you ought to learn not to walk into danger. Fear not. I've blocked him. He can't move. One more second, and he would have shot you. You wanted to save him during the conference, so it's up to you to decide his fate. Does he still deserve your mercy? Or have you had enough? I'll let you choose. Well, he tried to kill me. No. He's yours. Go ahead. Do it. Don't blame yourself, Louis. You did your best to help him, but he was already lost. Take the body away and clean the hall. Hey, he tried to kill me first, okay? I saved him once. My kindness ain't that far. Not too shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. To tell you the truth, I don't get much time to ask myself those questions. Quite right. Best not to react to all this too suddenly. Take some time to think about it all. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But. All in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you, deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound very...
very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... whispers... words... mixed voices... Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I... hear them. Now... Now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... Uh, what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. Hang on. You mean to say that if someone lies to me that I will know? Exactly. But... but that's... that's just incredible. You still need to practice, though. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Holm? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later, if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. You're now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlocutors. Each uh, use of mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted to an immunity. Two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Ooh! Let's see what Mortimer is thinking about. He is thinking he might not have been clear enough with you. When I told you not to try to read into Gregory or her experienced demons, it also applied to me, of course. You... you can hear me think? Of course I can. I can sense you. For the moment, your mind shines like a thousand lights because you haven't yet mastered the art of concealment from the psyches of others. So... I give you a weapon, and the first thing you do is try to shoot me with it? If my intentions were evil, you would already be at my mercy. So be very careful on whom you use the talent. All right. Please excuse me. And I... don't ever apologize, my son. You are far above that from now on. Now go. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, Ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. What a twist! It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. If this is true, I must get revenge. <laughs> You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, our I should... personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, Emily. Calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. Go ahead and kill her. I don't care anymore. Uh, Louis, please. Don't think you can play me for a fool. She's not my mother, Emily. <gasps> she abducted me at birth and spent her life telling me lies. So go right ahead and shoot her. You'd be doing me a favor. Louis, no, you're wrong. I never wanted this.
like you've always lied to me. What is the next one? Linguistics, occult. Questioning, there we go. Well, I could have chosen more books, I think. Rational and open. I spent my whole life swimming in lies. Emily, what a waste. I feel like I know nothing. That I have to learn everything all over again i'm a demon i age more slowly I, I can mentally manipulate people i don't even know if it's a good thing or a curse no no this is an advantage i could get used to this pretty quickly i think damn it what a mess come on man up louis i'm still the same old me demon or not i'm still in charge of my actions and this father i know nothing about Yes, I've still got a lot to learn. It's enough to drive you crazy. Everything I believed in, nothing holds true anymore. Pull yourself together, man. I need to find some answers. There's no way of being alone for a minute. Sir Gregory? Good day, Louis. I think it would be good to talk. How are you feeling? I don't know. I understand. I heard that William spoke to you at last about our nature and our family. It's a good thing, but you must be a bit shaken up. That's the least you can say. I bid you welcome among us, Louis. Knowing William, he probably didn't go into any detail about our family, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. How long has our family been in existence? We have been here since the very beginning. What do you mean, exactly? Are you trying to get information from me? Uh, I, no, not at all. I, I was just wondering why that particular question seemed to disturb you. Uh, let us not insist, then. You yourself weren't very convinced by the question, it seems. How many of us are there in the family? We are eight brothers and sisters. What do you mean by brothers and sisters if we can change bodies? You reason with logic. Uh, we have retained the human habit. When we first come into this world, we retain a certain attachment to our first envelope. If we are born as a man, we are brothers. If we are born as a woman, we are sisters. But I must admit, it has absolutely no real importance. They're just bodies. Well, tell me then, are there any other families like ours? There are officially seven, but we're the oldest and therefore the most powerful. Is there a head of the family? You'll see. You'll meet them all, of course, when you are ready. They created us and set out the rules, especially our father. As for our mother, she retired from the political stage. We don't see her much anymore. I think that all these questions simply bore her. I see. There is still much to learn. Yes, it's true. You've got some catching up to do, my boy. One thing you must understand regarding any disagreements that might arise between William and myself is his position with regard to mankind. What do you mean? Well, for centuries we've been trying to help and therefore preserve humanity. Monarchies are simple and practical. They enable us to inspire humanity efficiently, and I can't understand why William wants to replace them with democracy. But if your intention is not to dominate the human race, why not let them be master of their own destinies? I perfectly understand this type of reaction from you. 
Less from William. The main thing you're lacking is time. Man is transient. And one of his particularities is that he does not learn from the errors of his peers. He uses up an incredible amount of energy building and destroying whatever he himself has put into place. If we weren't here to help them, guide them, I sincerely believe that humanity would have become extinct by now. We are eternal, Louis. When we plan ahead, we do it for the long term. Hmm. Well, indeed, from that point of view, it is better to, to guide them. It's rare for a novice demon to manage to stop thinking like a man so quickly. It has taken centuries for our family to establish relative peace between demons. Thanks to this policy, we have been able to decide everything by confining the other families to subordinate roles. And now William is obsessed with disrupting everything. Peace between demons? What do you mean? I'm not talking about conflicts within our family. If that was all there was, everything would be fine. But several other families, younger but nonetheless powerful, are trying to upset the balance. At present, we dominate most of the major countries around the globe. But some families are pushing, via less influential countries, to gain ground. Do you understand? As best I can, yes. When the time comes, you must take up a position on the political chessboard. I only hope your father doesn't take you down with him. Are you trying to warn me that I'm in danger? That, Louis, will be up to you to choose. Most of all, make sure you don't pick the wrong side. William has had all the time he needs to think about this. You do not. I'm sorry to say this, but this first choice might well be of capital importance to your future. I want you to make an informed choice. Now go and see your father, see what he has to say, and then think it over very carefully. That's exactly what I intended to do. Thank you, Uncle. Don't mention it. If I've been able to help you in any way, go now. Hmm. Okay. Wait, wait. Can I see Emily? I must check. I can see her. There's something that I really want to do. Emily, can I come in? I... No, it's not a good time. <laughs> not right now. Leave me alone. I can tell from your voice that th there's something wrong. Let me in. We have to talk, Emily. I said no, God damn you. You've been drinking. Why aren't I surprised? Do you think you'll find the solution in alcohol? Get out of here, Louis. I told you not to come in. I just wanted to explain I that... don't want to hear why you let me kill your mother. Well, it turns out she isn't my mother. It makes no difference to me. You know nothing. You understand nothing. On the contrary, if you'd given me more time, if you'd listened to me... It was impossible for me to know. Of course it wasn't. <gasps> I know I can't really ask. But please, forgive me for what I have done. Everything that goes on in here is, is much bigger than you and me. You made your choices, and, and now you're going to have to take responsibility for them. I know you're telling the truth about Mortimer and home. I know they are demons. That's not all. Go on. I'm one of them, Emily. I'm a demon, too. I know. But, but how? Sir Gregory stopped by to tell me. I... He wanted to bid me a welcome. I don't understand. Welcome to the family. I... Uh, you? 
You're his daughter? Mortimer's daughter, Louis. That makes you my sister? Yes. Just ah! the thought of the night when I suggested that we... I feel so ashamed, Louis. And that means Emma is your sister, too. Spent the night with my own sister? I was attracted to you from the moment we first spoke. No! <laughs> now I understand why. Do you realize what that means? I'm a monster. And I am one as well. When I think of my feelings for you, I... Ah, oh, that feeling, it hurts all of a sudden. <sighs> I... She, she's there, I... I can feel her inside me. She's trying to read my thoughts. Emily, don't do that. Get out of my mind, please. Let me remind you that it's forbidden between demons. I... Sorry, Louis. I didn't want to. I have a sister. It's... It's very strange for me, too. A sister for a brother. Yes. Yes. I must get some rest. I must ask you to leave me now. All right, but don't finish that bottle don't start now i would like to get some sleep i'll be leaving you then i thank you emily is she like sister as in just another demon or sister as in like my actual sister <laughs> no man we have to call this episode Alabama. <laughs> no. I'm gonna assume that it's that we're just, you know, she's just a demon too, and because she's a woman, that makes her a sister, like it was explained to me. I'm just gonna have to believe that over the horrible alternative. <laughs> oh boy. Louis, I was sure you would stay. I'm proud of you. You've made the right choice. You must have been disappointed not to have been able to speak to Sarah one last time. I would have liked her to tell you herself. Well, I guess I'll never know now. True. Even so, there is one more thing I haven't told you about her. Sarah was my daughter. What? But... Why didn't you tell me the truth about her? I thought that might be... Too many truths to absorb at one time. I intended to tell you afterwards. You were in a hurry, so I made a decision. You've been able to understand and choose for yourself. But she's How my do you sister? feel? Hard to say. Confused about everything? I have to admit, it's it's been a lot to take in in such a short amount of time. What could be more normal? It may have been a bit brutal. But you've just grown up in a very short space of time. From now on, you can influence your own future. I will guide you. We've all the time we need. You're not the first to make me that offer. What do you mean by that? Your brother, Sir Gregory. Gregory. Why am I not even surprised? What did he say? I've been given to understand that you have a difficult relationship with your father. Isn't that right? Let's just say we don't see things the same way. I ended up finding out that there's a world outside the rules he has imposed on us. It seems you find yourself in the same position that you've placed men. You were told what to do, what to think, and you found it unbearable. Imagine if humanity finds out you secretly direct them. How do you think they'd react? Hmm. Your analogy is not without substance. But that's where it ends. Man's main flaw is his willingness to forget and to make the same errors time and again. He can't help it. He is mortal. I don't impose anything on anyone. I'm just following my own path. But where does it lead? Hmm. I, I suppose I should explain. For centuries now, demons have emerged in and around great leaders all over the world. But like true tyrants, they have governed with an iron fist in a studded glove. That's the impression I get. But you see, people's discontent is increasing, and they are too high up to hear it. They take themselves for gods. Sooner or later, 
the people will turn against us, just as they have in the past. Each time it's happened, many of us have died. We must master the humans, yes, but gently. And the best way of doing that is by allowing them a free choice, Louis. You really are trying to liberate men. Of course, not entirely, no. It is easier to keep control over people who slumber than people who are oppressed. A man with nothing to lose is a dangerous man. Whereas, if you give him a roof, food, and entertainment, he will do whatever you want. The best way of getting them to achieve something is to make them think it was their idea. For that, they have to feel as if they are free. Hang on, what do you mean? Look at the United States. From the start, I introduced an idea that will change everything. The idea that everything is possible. Everyone can become someone. Is there anything more beautiful? You mean it's not true? Man can move mountains when he believes it is in his own interest. And what nobler cause is there than his own freedom? Do you have any more examples? Of course. Talk to me about slavery. Well, take the slave trade, for example. It's an archaic practice that simply has to stop. Today, black slaves of America work for free and in unbearable conditions. Tomorrow, if you free the blacks and offer them work along with a salary, they will bless you for it. Then, they will be integrated into the system. They will be taxable. Once they are free, they will have to work for a roof, pay taxes, and feed their families. Maybe we could take away the civil rights of prisoners, for example. In this way, we'll keep control of all those who respect the system and benefit from the others as a workforce. And what would you propose for women? They must be given the right to work and to vote. Look, at the moment, they don't work. They take care of raising children. What a mistake. We have to get them out of the house. Make them work. In this way, not only will they become consumers, but they will also delegate the job of education to the system. We could guide humanity from a young age, Louis, don't you see? Today, we are wasting too much time. What obscurantism. By harping on this concept of good and evil, guilt and redemption, look where men are now, locked up in beliefs that should no longer exist. It's time for men to rediscover themselves and to take control of their lives, as they really are, without any moral judgment. Tell me what you think about progress. Progress is essential, Louis. It's the future. What else? Progress must liberate humanity from burdensome chores. Progress must replace man wherever his presence is not obligatory. It creates both the desire and the need. It will liberate women as soon as the machines are able to do all the chores in the home automatically. It will bring men together by bringing a faster means of locomotion. Look at the cultural revolution that printing brought about. But the most important of all has already been laid. The foundation stone. Freedom of speech. The first amendment of the Constitution. There must be opponents to every project. So, above all, don't develop a one-track approach Otherwise, man won't have enough room for expression to feel free. If man sees his chains, he will only want to break them. If we give men the feeling that they are free, I am convinced that they will exceed their limits. And it is only from that condition that humanity shall rise up. But do you want to dominate or raise humanity higher? I want it to advance. I want it to progress. Man is our vessel. If he progresses, then so do we. Wouldn't you like to know what we really are? Who do you mean? Demons? Yes, us, our species. I've been searching for centuries, trying to find a way to explain the reason of our existence, but humanity has not yet evolved enough to make any progress on the subject. I am convinced that the sciences will bring that knowledge someday. So, that's your objective, is it? To understand who we are? I see your point. Our family clings to its privileges and to the past, and that's how they are putting us in danger. The time has come for change. Now that you know your true nature, 
There are still a few things I need to teach you. What do you mean exactly? A new skill, and not the least, Louis. It's about taking control of a person. Okay, let's not waste any more time. <laughs> I deduce that you're impatient to master what's in store for you. That is good. I thought I'd mix business with pleasure for this first time. What do you mean by that? The conference will come to a close shortly, as you know. Not that I'm fed up with archaic diplomacy, but it's time to ensure the success of this project. To make this happen, I would like Piaggi to inform the Pope he has changed sides. You... you're going to use your powers to alter the votes? The real game is about to begin, Louis. Up till now, the guests have been sizing each other up. From now on, it's time for Gregory and myself to play, as well as you yourself. Now, here is my plan. I would like you to join his eminence in his room. Just play along. We'll see when the time comes. Very well. And then? You're going to have to trust me. What we're going to do is painless for the human you are going to invade. Invade? Yes. You're going to enter his mind and take control. You're going to influence his, make him speak, then concentrate. You must focus on him in order to feel his thoughts. Then, while speaking, you must link with him. Once you're done, you will naturally find your way to the source and enter into his thoughts. But what if I fail? Trust in your instincts. You just have to let yourself go. You have the skill. Let your nature come to the fore. You'll see. If you fail, you'll be in for some light banter with his eminence. That's all. There's nothing to be afraid of. Very well. Perfect. Go now. The Cardinal is in his room. You will have to write a letter to the Pope as if Piaggi had written it himself. In this letter, tell the Pope that whatever happens during the conference, he must follow my propositions. But be careful. In order to protect himself from counterfeiters, the Pope had Piaggi's hand tattooed with a symbol to be sure of his identity. You'll see when you're inside him. You'll understand. Once it's written up, just bring it back to me, and I'll send it off immediately. All right, I'll take care of it. Let's do it! For my demon father. I'm not even doing it for him, I'm doing this for me. Now that I'm a demon and I can live fucking who knows how long? Hell yeah. I just need to ensure my safety. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, I'm going the right way. Safety first. Safety first. Gonna protect my ass. Hope for the best! Oh, ooh, hello. Ah, finally, we got away. Oh, we didn't get away, but we got rid of the fucking negative trait that we had. <clears throat> Ah, well, Louis, what brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm gonna pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing, don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. What exactly is your role? with regard to the Holy Father. I... What? What on earth is he playing at? It's coming. You're a cardinal in Pictori. Why don't you admit it? Impertinent little brat. Louis, I don't find this conversation in very good taste. All right, it's coming. Come on, Giuseppe, let me in. What? I've done it. I've done it, damn it. He was right. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. You better not get caught. Whoa. I 
I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. Yes, do not use your personal stamp. Okay. My dear, uh, my dear Giuseppe, as my health does not allow me to honor Sir Holmes' invitation to the go to Lord Monomer's, I should be grateful if you would sit at a conference on my behalf. Naturally, you will give my thanks to your host. Consolidate our agreements with Sir Gregory and let him know that his venture regarding Cardinal Bishop Chiramonte is following its course. I have every confidence in you. May God bless and protect you. S.S. Giovanni Angelo Bracci. Yes, do not use your personal stamp when writing to me. Instead, use the one with my motto on it. Okay. My dear Giuseppe, I know you are on your way to Lord Mortimer's residence. I hope you have a good trip. Even though you are obliged to cross the French countryside at present, very agitated. I know that this mission is crucial, my friend. May God bless and protect you. <coughs> so. Okay. Right. Well, let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. It turns out, now that I'm here, that I find Lord Mortimer's projects grant us many more advantages in comparison to what Sir Gregory had suggested. We are talking about the future of the Holy See. Hmm. There. That should be enough to justify the change of vote. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. And I remember that. Flore in Domo Domini. Justizia, misericordia e umiltà. Boy, I gotta brush up my foreign languages. Piaggi once gave me a sealed letter. It had the same seal on it. I remember now. A circle with a cross inside. Now, I distinctly remember this seal that Piaggi used on the letter he gave me. This isn't the same stamp. On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. And I remember that. Flore in Domo Domini. It's the middle one, right? On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. The middle. There's a kind of code composed of six letters. They always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaggi's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, It'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today, the date is 2401-1793. And the 
letters from the Pope, there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaget's tattoo, it must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. Some figures are the same in both codes, yet they correspond to different letters. The day is not translated. That must be the key to the code. Today the date is pretend that the code got erased during the voyage, as if the letter arrived in really bad condition. That would be perfectly understandable given that it's traveled across the seas, right? Your Eminence is all ready to send... What's he doing here? Damn it. That's all I need. Don't worry. He can't hear us. What do you mean, he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? Better not tell me he just fell asleep. Calm down now. Monsieur de Richet came to see me because he was having anxiety attacks and wanted something to help him relax. I'm afraid I've been a little heavy-handed. Uh, you can say that again. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is. And there he stays. <laughs> the perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Can you keep a secret? Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. But this is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? The slime bag. He works for Mortimer. Uh. Good thing I already tried to warn Gregory. I am certain that Sir Gregory would be opposed. You know nothing! I know Sir Gregory better That's than... That's against the rules of the conference, Monsieur von Vorn. I refuse to go against Sir Gregory. Right. Monsieur von Vorn. I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. You can't attack him without running the risk of jeopardizing the conference. Even though Sir Gregory has the edge? No. Gregory will never forgive you. Very well, Piaggi, you win. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. <sighs> right. 
Don't just stand there, Louis. Mortimer's waiting for you in the red salon. That son of a bitch was trying to kill me! Wait, in the dining room? Uh... Where the fuck was- Oh, okay, I know where it is. Damn, now I got, like, no mind reading. Like, no fucking <laughs> effort. All gone, bro. It's the dining room, right? So, Louis, what was your first time like? Bewildering, isn't it? Here's your letter. I have to admit, the experience was utterly amazing. Come, tell me more. Everything went as planned. I didn't encounter any particular difficulties. Well done, you. On my first try, well, it took me three goes. But you did it. Gregory, what can I do for you? I've just come to make sure dear Louis has all the information he needs. Needs for what? You are free to make your own choices, William. I would like the same for him, too. There's nothing I want more, Gregory. Your schemes will lead to your demise, brother. Don't involve Louis. He has nothing to do with all this. The end of the conference approaches, and this masquerade will soon be torn asunder. Don't drag him down with you in your disgrace. Oh, ye of little faith. On the contrary, brother, Louis has just entered the family. Give him a chance to find his place. His place? What place is that? At the end of a leash, like all the others. Don't listen to him. He's angry with our father. And with good reason. He governs us in the same way he governs humanity. Through fear and submission. Same old tune. When will you understand that it's necessary to impose order for things to move forward properly? You are under his thumb and proud of it. Open your eyes for crying out loud. His whole system has become outdated and he's too old to see it. He will lead us to our demise. There he goes with another of his grand speeches. William has always been fond of staging big scenes. It's his theatrical side. How dare you? You are blind, brother. Even if the evidence bit you on the nose, you still wouldn't see it. I feel sorry for you. Tea is drunk hot or not at all, William. When will you learn? Mm. It's too bitter. You shouldn't let it brew so long. I knew you'd be coming along. You are so predictable. Methodical, I would say. Things must be accomplished in the right order if we want the world to keep turning as it does. You came here to warn me, sir. No, to advise you. Advise me against my father? Why? I think you are capable of deciding for- You haven't answered my question. Why warn me against my father? What are you afraid he will do to me? Well, I wouldn't want him to lead you into- I don't know what absurd adventure in you which- You act as though I were in danger. I agree with Louis, Gregory. You're trying to pass me off as a villain about to devour him. That's not funny, William. I won't let him follow you. You see, Louis, Gregory came here to make you change your mind. It's time for things to change. I acknowledge Father has done many good things for humanity, but his time is over, and now he must pass on the torch. That's enough. There, Louis. That's the pathetic example your father has to offer. I really am sorry about what happened to you. You don't know our family yet. We can't have given you a very good impression, but bear in mind that we are all against William's project. On the contrary. If he insists on going through with it, we will have no other choice than to intervene by force. Consequently, my dear Louis, you're going to have to choose sides. 
I would much rather have met you in different circumstances. There you are, Louis. See what happens when you don't follow their orders to the letter. Louis, I'm afraid the time to decide is now. <coughs> if you follow William, he will drag you down with him. If, on the other hand, you support me, I can assure you that nothing will happen to you. You won't be blamed for your father's errors. Ah, the masks are off. I offer you liberty. He obliges you to choose, and shamelessly asks you to betray your own father. That is their true face. Right. Before I answer, well, I better think it over very carefully. Do I intend to embrace my demon nature and take my place on the chessboard? Do I stay out of it and do my utmost to stop them? Or do I renounce my nature and do all I can to stay human? It's useless trying to resist my true nature. I am a demon. May as well accept it. The sooner the better. Even if I continue to live as a human, all my friends and acquaintances will inevitably end up dying. And I'll be left on my own. Forever. I am a demon and I have to behave like one. The sooner, the better. So? <coughs> what do you choose, Louis? I shall follow my father, Sir Gregory. Very well. But don't say I didn't warn you. Please, don't take offense, but I just can't turn my back on him. It's time we finished what we started, brother. The final vote of the conference over the acquisition of Louisiana will take place in a few hours. I propose you gather your troops and prepare to close the debate. That's precisely what I was going to suggest. Come, follow me. It's time for us to get ready. Do you really think we have a chance of winning? A chance? <laughs> you don't know me very well, Louis. We are going to win. But it only takes one person to vote against us, and we'll have lost. That's true. That's why none of them will. Why? Because I have an asset that they do not. Which is? You. My friends, prepare yourselves. The conference is about to resume. The time has come to lay down all our cards. Oh, because they can't and they can't actually take over people's minds and do it because of the rules. But I can because I'm not part of the people petting it. Got eight now. Politics. Yes. 